If you need instruction on pump calibration for this media type, please view our Pump Calibration with Filter Cassette and Sorbent Tube video. To begin sampling, be sure that pumps have been fully charged within the last 48 hours. Use a tube breaker to break both ends of the tube marked Orbo 43 to provide an opening at least one half the internal diameter. Insert the opened sorbent tube into the holder's rubber sleeve with the arrow on the tube pointed toward the holder. Next, attach a short section of tubing with the lure adapter to the exposed end of the sorbent tube. Then remove the green colored nib on the outlet side of the filter cassette and attach it to the short section of tubing using the lure adapter. Attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in the back or on the side. Bring the tubing around to the front. Attach the sample to the shirt collar in the breathing zone. Use the collar clip to attach the tubing in place along the shirt to restrict its movement. Remove the yellow colored nib on the inlet side of the filter cassette. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump on the field data sheet. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. After sampling is completed, turn off the pump, remove the sorbent tube, and immediately seal both ends with the red caps provided. Remove the tubing with lure adapter and install nibs on both ends of the cassette. Remove the equipment and return to the area where you performed the pre-calibration to perform post-calibration and prepare your sample for shipment. Perform a post-calibration following the same process used for pre-calibration. Then record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. To prepare your sample for shipment, cut the gel band along the seam of the top section of the filter cassette. Remove the top portion of the cassette using a cassette opener or screwdriver. Using tweezers, remove the filter only and place it in the vial and seal. Label both the capped Orbo 43 tube and the vial with the filter inside with the same sample ID and place both inside the light sensitive bag. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat. <laughs>